Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will be reacting to Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 9, man. I believe, what, are there going to be 11 episodes this season? So we're nearing the end. It's got to be either 11 or 12, somewhere in that range. Right now, I am streaming over on Twitch. If you would like to join for the Twitch live streams, you can find it over in the link in the description. And you can also see the link right here where it should say twitch.tv slash cloudy crow k if you would like to join but without any further ado let's jump right into this we haven't seen these two or at least much from them in a little while fitz's partners in crime oh no she's getting jealous and they're starting to notice Fitz has been off his game lately. Oh, she <laughs> spilled her ink. They're starting to catch on. That's what I'm saying. Why are you hiding it from him? There's no way he's forgotten. It has been a while. So, I can see where she's coming from. Okay. There we go. So it's up to you where you want to go from here, Sophie. Are you going to tell him? Or are you going to keep him shrouded in secrecy? Until he finds out himself. And honestly, I think one thing that she hasn't, I guess, thought of, that I'm starting to think of, is how do you think Rudy's gonna feel if he finds out and she doesn't tell him? Like, that, how do you think he's gonna feel finding out that she's been kind of hiding it from him this whole time and almost lying to him this whole time? I don't think he'll be too mad, but there's a chance, so you never know. Right. Also, apologies if you hear a little bit of music in the background. It's a Labor Day, and my family's cooking right now, I think. My gosh. <laughs> just hearing the music in the background. The song just does not match this anime at all. But I don't even know if you guys can hear it, so... You guys on YouTube probably won't be able to. A summoning specialist. Why haven't we met this person earlier? Silent Seven Star? Have we heard that name? Oh, okay. From my old world. Alright, Silent Seven Star. Dude, it's time. We gotta see. A showdown between Silent Seven Star and Silent Fitz. It's destiny. <gasps> what? Oh, she's the girl from the day when Rudy almost died! Holy crap, you can see the like trauma in his eyes. Jesus. Yeah, this- I- I don't even blame him. The man almost lost his life that day, and she just reminded him of it. Even though she wasn't the one that did it. And look, he passed out. One thing I really love about this anime is how well they're able to convey emotions. And basically just, uh, you know, like the way the brain works when it comes to trauma and sadness and anger and all of these things, it feels so realistic in this anime. Is she gonna be in the room? Yeah, she's right here. Oh, true, she did save him. Oh, 
It'll be a while before he comes for you? So, yeah, exactly. So he's on his way? Just a bro offering his lap to a bro? I think it's a bit more than that. <laughs> this is like his worst nightmare, just cradling him. It's crazy how they invented their whole own language for this anime. What is it? Satoshi Akito? Oh! Are those- I don't- I don't remember what his real name is, so I don't know if his name is one of them. It's not? Maybe he just recognizes that it's in Japanese. This is so confusing, man! He, she's shown him Japanese. Whoa! Nanahoshi. What? So has she reincarnated as well? Is he gonna tell her? This is crazy. これからよろしくね。あと、どうですか。ルーデオス。いや、I because she finally found someone from her world? Yeah, but it's like, she doesn't understand at all. Like, what's going on in Rudy's head? Like, I know she's excited, but she's not like reading the room, if that makes any sense. Clearly, Rudy is uneasy. Wait, this is so confusing! So, were they speaking Japan- What? I- I'm so lost. I'm sorry, I gotta pause for a second, because my brain feels like mashed potatoes right now. So, up until this point, have they always been speaking this other language, but for us, it's been conveyed to us as Japanese, and now that they're actually speaking Japanese, it's like, oh my god, my brain... <laughs> Right now, they're still talking Japanese. No, I mean, like, before, when it was, like, Rudy talking with, um, Rudy talking with Fitz when she was healing him. Were they speaking Japanese at that time, or were they speaking this new language, but it was conveyed to us through Japanese? Before they talked human language. Yep, for clarity, human language was Japanese. They never spoke Japanese before that episode. Okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, my brain right now. So, right now, they're speaking this new language. Not new language, but they're speaking this made-up language and Japanese separately to show that Fitz doesn't know Japanese, but this girl does. I get it, I get it. Is he gonna tell her the whole truth, though? So it was the girl. Yeah, I was about 
Fitz is probably so confused right now. Probably even more confused than I was. それにしてもどうしてオルステッドは人神と争っているんですか私も詳しいことは知らないわけど個人的な恨みだって言ってたわねそんな Summoned to this world by someone. What does that mean? The world will erase us. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For time travelers, it makes sense. Like, if you go back in time and change something that happened to you, it could uh, alter your present or your future. There's zero mana. He has a lot. Interesting. I don't know if she said this earlier. Maybe I just missed it. I know she said that she was um, in the middle of the road. But did she just like freaking snap and then pop up in a new world or something? Dang. And the food sucks. So she wants to go back to her old life, and Rudy's like, screw my old life. Yeah. Well, that's actually really interesting, though. Before, I think Rudy would 100% be like, this world's way better, screw everything from that past world, like... If that world just bursted into flames, like, who cares? There was no one that really cared about me anyways. But I think over time, he started to accept and realize that there were people that had his back. Like, his parents, for example. They were always there for him. And, um, one of his friends. I remember his friend, uh, would come and visit him, like, almost every single day after that incident. And just hang out with him. And then, um, Rudy lashed out at him one day. And then he was like, all right, you don't want me here, then I won't be here anymore. And after that, Rudy started to realize, well, in this world, Rudy started to realize, like, dang, he was really just trying to help me, and I just pushed him away. So, he's not as bitter against that uh, other world as he was before. And Sophie is just, <laughs> has no idea what's going on. Yep, can she help us? <laughs> Sylphie. <laughs> She's like, what's everyone looking at me for? Whoa. The backlash? Whoa! Oh my god! Dang! I said it was gonna happen, dude! Silent 7th versus Silent Fits! I told you it was gonna happen! He doesn't even know what to do, cause he's like... Man... He wasn't expecting this. Oh, and I'm guessing those rings also helped her to use magic. 
Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because she doesn't have mana herself. Gosh, this is so trippy, man. Like, right now, are they speaking Japanese again? Or are they speaking the human language again? Like, man. Hmm, interesting. She does come off as, like, oddly detached. Like, we did see her seem pretty excited when she found out that Rudy was from another world, but... I don't know. She seems kind of cold. Man. Sylphie's always being wrapped up in these situations where she doesn't know how Rudy feels about her. And I feel like she's never- she's gonna be stuck in this, like, mental loop until she tells him the truth. The White Mask. Dang, because if you think about it, there isn't really any way for him to... There isn't really any way for him to try to, um, I guess, grow feelings for Sylphie if he hasn't seen her in years. It's been so long since he last saw Sylphie. So, if she wants a potential relationship to go anywhere, then I think that, um... She needs to tell him the truth soon, hopefully. For the question of the day, I guess mine is just gonna be, what is your first impression, or what was your first impression of Silent 7th? Because for me personally, I thought it was really cool that she was from the same world that Rudy was from. And the fact that Rudy, he didn't know this girl, but he saw this girl and remembered her from the other world. So seeing her actually come here as well is pretty cool. But, like I said earlier, she seems oddly, like, cold and detached. When she was talking about the teleportation disaster and the fact that she caused it, she didn't really seem sorry or remorseful for doing it. I mean, I don't think it was intentional, obviously, but, you know, when Sylphie was lashing out, she was just kind of cold and, like, shutting her down completely, and she said, Hey, Rudy, aren't you gonna do anything? She just kinda doesn't feel that world is real, or she has anything to do with it. That is true! You're right, she did say that. That she thought this new world that she's in was fake and that the food was terrible, so... That makes sense. She doesn't really have much care or consideration for this world, at least compared to the world she originated from. But I think it's really cool to see how she and Rudy have like completely different perspectives. Rudy hates the old world and loves his new life, and she hates her new life and loves the old world, so... Very interesting. But, again, another thing that I just cannot stress enough is how amazing this anime is when it comes to, like, conveying, I guess, just, like, mental struggles. Like, when he had this sort of PTSD after seeing her because she was there when he almost died last season. Or, like, when Rudy, you know, couldn't get it up and he was super, like, mentally screwed up by that and Soldat had to help pick him up out of that uh, hole he dug himself into. But, let me know what you guys think about the question of the day in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to head out, so I'll catch you all in this next episode.